initially when we were first dating and he got me this wonderful set of golf clubs all excited got the, got the shoes got the clubs as i did lessons he taught me a lot and i tried and i practiced and it and i hated it so out of frustration i gave it up i just said you know what it's not something i'm gonna do with you so I remember one time, I think it was in third grade, I actually caught the ball. Someone kicked it and I caught it and it was such a huge moment for me because I had never caught a ball before. <laughs> well, every other time I got hit in the face or it went by my head or I just said, well, gosh, I must be a real klutz then. You relegate yourself to the fact that you're going to be the last one picked. So, you know, it was just a bummer. But the eye exams I mostly had were the ones that they did in school where you just read the eye chart and if you could read it, they checked the box and you were good to go and really had no idea that there were other eye issues. So I just thought I was a klutz and there was so much more to it than that. Kathy's condition is an isotropic amblyopia. She has one eye that's much more farsighted than the other and she also had one eye higher than the other eye and could focus properly, so she was using one eye. So he explained how my brain works in relation to my vision. All these years I had adjusted and compensated and didn't realize that it was even a problem until he diagnosed us. And I'm like, gosh. I just thought I needed glasses and I had no idea. It was a very aha moment. The fix was vision therapy. It seems so innocuous, but it really made a difference. It's just a matter of, I think, retraining my brain to work with my eyes. As far as therapy is concerned, if done properly to fruition, it's good for life. It's like riding a bicycle. Once you get that skill in place, do you print time ride a bicycle next year? No, you put the bicycle in the closet, take it back out a year later, get on there, ride again, no problems. I didn't realize how much depth perception was compromised. The, the biggest thing was just knowing what it was and then knowing that there was something I could do to make it better. It wasn't just about a stronger prescription. This actually fixed the problem, which is pretty cool. I, could, I just couldn't golf because my vision didn't allow me to hit that tiny ball. Now that I can see, <laughs> now that my eyes work, we can do it together, so it's really kind of cool. Of course, this has helped me to realize how critically important vision health is and how it shouldn't be ignored until you think you need glasses when you're 37. <laughs>